better not come up with this as an option because on our boat, they're just not a good place to mount it and not be completely in the way. And of course, the back end of the boat sits really low in the water. So anyway, we was looking for a way that uh, to mount it and uh, or a something that uh, would be out of the way. And uh, so we come up with this Basically took a trolla motor head. We chopped off the the fin on the bottom. And uh, I went ahead and uh, pulled the, the motor out and uh, gutted, gutted everything. So uh, basically there's just two wires going in and out of the motor. Uh, so that way it just goes forward and reverse. And then uh, under... Right, Mounted to the battery, we have a uh, controller that will uh, adjust the speed. So we've done away with the, uh, everything but the motor part of the trolling motor. Um, we got the uh, splasher prop from Randy Wright. He's a guide on Lake Texoma, but uh, also lives in Border, Texas. Uh, it's a 3D printed uh, splasher prop. Really cool. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> basically we tried to figure out where, where a good location was to where the boat, boat sits in the water. So that way, um, you know, you just have to raise the motor up just a little bit to get it uh, set on the proper um, uh, level in the water. So that way, you know, it maximizes your, uh, your splash. And uh, it's really simple, just... Anyway, I'm like say we're very pleased with this. It's hard to find the, the motor-mounted trailer motors. You can buy them overseas, but uh, there are some old versions out there that are just very hard to find. Uh, if you get lucky and have one, then, you know, this is a very good option for you. Uh, but, um, anyway, thank y'all. If you got any questions, leave it down in the uh, comment section.